when you have just total aesthetic anarchy because that aesthetic anarchy is essentially unparalleled tribes and peoples from all over essentially had ways of dressing because it was the materials they had there and they had flags and what are tartan what is tartan tartan all these tartans they come they have a history to them that comes from specific regions and clans this isn't a new idea that people wear clothing of people that they're around what was the image of Brooks Brothers, it was this sort of cohesive idea that whether you were coming from Southern Europe or Eastern Europe, this allowed for a way to interface into the society and speak that same aesthetic language in this modernizing Western society. Mean that that has collapsed. All of this stuff is connected. People don't realize it, but this stuff is connected. Is there anything that can get us back to... Okay. Sometimes I float this idea out there. Yeah, you can make it illegal. You can straight up ban selling t-shirts. I say this as a joke sometimes to sort of stretch people's minds, but I'm like, what if you just ban selling t-shirts? You're not allowed to walk down the street nude. And so, I mean, like you can't walk down the street nude. There is certain requirements, but beyond that, which is not gonna happen, you have to inspire people. And it has to start small. Is there a bottom in where they eventually say, oh, this is too, too much and I wanna re re reject it and I wanna go the other way? I don't know. I would think yes, but I would think that bottom would have been longer ago. If you were ever to really change it, it would have to start in the fringe because that's where anything that changes kind of starts in the fringe ultimately. And so it'd have to start in the fringe like the guys who care and they start doing it and you start influencing other guys. When you dress a certain way and you see someone on the street, they take influence from you. They're influenced by you even if they don't say it.